Good afternoon, guys, and thank you for joining us here at the Elkins Public Library. Um, today, we have Denise Brooks with Alexis Information Systems, and she's going to be going over our ABCs of Cyber Monday. First, I want to say thank you to the Elkins Public Library for giving me the, this opportunity to get to connect with you. So we want to talk about ways that you can create quick checkout if all you have is Square. When you log into your Square, uh, on the home screen, you will see multiple options. One thing I really like about Square is they have, they have the same color concept for everything that you do. So the items and the orders are the things that we're gonna use. Okay, first we need to create an item. Having your product categorized in the long run will save you so much time because a lot of the technology tools these days allow you to be to do maybe a discount for this category only or hide this category only or increase the price for only this category. So it is key for you to always categorize your products. And if you scroll down a little bit on the screen here where it says variations and it says SKU, your SKU is really your item number. The idea is that when you do things like this, one day you will end up in a financial software. Financial software would be something like QuickBooks. So all of the financial software require a unique number as your item number. So if you set up your SKU number now, making them unique, the day that you need to connect to a financial software, that problem will already be solved. And then the stock, always remember when you automate the stock. So if you tell a point of sale system, an online store, if you tell that system that here's how many I have in stock, that is how many that system will sell. And because of that, if you overestimate what you have in stock, you're going to be in trouble because people will order what you don't have that you have to explain. And then if you forget to update your stock, then the product will not be available for checkout. And you would wonder, why is anybody buying this product? So, but I wanted to bring your attention to the point of sale behavior and the online checkout. And I, what I did, I took a screenshot for you of what it looks like when you turn it on. This is an example of one of our checkout links. So because we turned it on, I can just copy this link and then email it to someone or we can put the link on our website um, or we can post this link on social media and get paid that way. All right, so usually when I talk about selling online and point of sale, we end up talking about sales tax and shipping rates. You will find it a little bit difficult to, to locate where you, you need to put the sales tax and where you need to put the shipping rates. But no worries, I took screenshots for you. All right, so let's start with the sales tax. In your square, when we logged in, there was a button for items. Remember, it was green. When you press that button, you will end up in a screen that looks like this one that has the item library, the service library, and all of that. And then you would scroll down to where it says sales tax, uh, sales taxes. You click on it, and it will show you a screen that says create a tax. And then when you press that button in this area that is on the right will show up asking you for the tax rate and then how you want to apply that tax. Square will allow you to have multiple locations for your uh, 
your point of sale. So if you had two locations and they use different sales tax numbers, it would allow you to have, okay, this is the sales tax we use for Arkansas. And then here's the sales tax we use for Oklahoma. I go through this with folks. They cannot find where to do the shipping because it's hidden. So when you go to, to the home page, okay, and then you would click on online and it will bring you to a screen that looks like what's in the middle right now. Pressing settings will then show you where to add the shipping rate. Um, I hope that these few hints uh, helped you think about the changes that you can make for Cyber Monday. That's what I had prepared for you. Uh, so I will take this chance to wrap things up. And I wanna say thank you, Denise, and thank you, Alexis Information Systems. You guys have been invaluable in helping us through this process. Um, we've learned so much from you and I appreciate all the time and effort that you have put into this and your team as well. Uh, just a refresher, we do have this opportunity to bring you our series of small business courses from a grant we received from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. And uh, we hope you find this absolutely informational and we will post links to everything on Denise's uh, in a few days. So be sure and keep an eye out.